Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how you can make stop motion videos, also called claymation, out of individual PNG files. I have a series of PNG files on the screen. I will show you how to make those and I am going to use the terminal now to convert those into an MP4 I'll go into great detail showing how this is done so don't worry I'm just going to do this briefly by hitting enter and we are now creating a file called out mp4 and it's right here and it's finished and when I tap on it it's going to open up VLC and VLC is going to show this movie and here it goes it is very very smooth it may not show smoothly on the YouTube video because the YouTube video I am recording at only five frames a second I've got it on a loop and it's going over and over again I'm going to hit control Q and turn off VLC I am also now going to turn off the terminal and uh, I should show you now how to create the individual PNG files I am using my uh, camera that is attached to the laptop to shoot the pictures and I am using VLC to capture individual frames and then I am also using some hotkeys and I'm going to show you all of this in great detail first of all let me just turn on VLC and I'm going to show you what you can do to do this yourself I've got to find VLC here I've got so many icons up there when I tap on VLC it opens up blank now you want to go to media and you want to go to capture device and it says video camera well I've got a webcam and it's plugged in it's a USB remote webcam it's not the one that is attached directly on the screen although you could use that too and I'm going to tap here and it says it's slash device slash video zero now you may need to put in a different number video one or perhaps video two you just need to experiment with that and when I hit it guess what there's my camera and it's turned sideways I'm going to go turn off VLC now with control Q and I want to turn on VLC again and I'm going to show you something else regarding the program VLC what you can do to capture individual images go over to tools and go to preferences and go to video and down here you can see where your snapshot files are going to be and you can change that and for me I put it into slash home slash user that's me pop slash capital D desktop and I put a check mark here that says sequential numbering so it's going to start uh, it's going to start numbering these things with one two three and so on if you don't do that you cannot convert these things into a video because the conversion program requires that the numbers not only be in sequence but also that there be no gaps in them one more thing go over here to hotkeys and let's put in SNA when you take a video snapshot uh, the default is shift s so when you have your uh, webcam turned on every time you hit shift s you will create now an individual PNG still picture from that moment of capture and it's going to appear now on your desktop okay that's that sets up VLC there's one more thing 
I showed this uh, once before. You can go over here and go to system settings. And when you are in system settings, you can go to keyboard and you can go to shortcuts, go to custom shortcuts. This seems a little bit imposing, but don't worry about it. Just go over it a few times. It'll be natural. And you can create a new one by hitting plus right here. But I already have it. And I created uh, a, a little hotkey so that I will just automatically turn on my webcam and open up VLC. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. I gave it a name and I called it VLC webcam. And uh, But this is the command that you would type into the terminal if you didn't have this hotkey. And the terminal command would be VLC space dash F space and then all in quotation marks you've got video for Linux 2 colon slash slash quotation marks might want to write that down space and then let me move over here now look at here in this case I've got slash device slash video one and then I hit apply let me cancel that and then you've got to assign it a hotkey now in my uh, preference I just put down alt super and V the super key is the Windows key the Windows key is to the left of the space bar right next to the alt key so I hit alt and super key simultaneously with my left thumb and then hit V with my index finger and that turns on the cam quarter that turns on the uh, webcam okay that now is my uh, hot key let me turn this bugger off oh it's hard to turn off I can't see it because I zoomed in on it okay now that was the hot key to turn on this whole business and I want to now show you the terminal command so I'm going to hit control alt T and that brings up a blank terminal but due to the magic of Linux you can use your up arrow and retrieve the prior uh, command that you had in effect now this seems very imposing uh, let's just go full screen on that and let's enlarge it perhaps maybe I can make it bigger I don't want to make it uh, I don't want to make it where I lose stuff but here's the command now this is the replacement of FFmpeg I guess those guys were all mad at each other and FFmpeg branched off into AV audiovisual conversion space now I got a start number you don't have to put this in this starts the sequence if it does not start with one so I'm going to put one in right there minus R and I sped it up 12 to 1 that's the rate you could leave that at 1 to 1 or you could go one to three and slow it down dash input and here are all of the input files and in my case it would be tilde slash capital desktop slash and then in quotations VLC snap dash the percent sign is the variable that's going to grab all of the pictures and I've got five numbers total so they go zero 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 one and then increment dot PNG quote now here is my codec dash C for codec colon V for video and I do not have a codec for audio because you see I am not recording audio whatsoever at all and I'm using library 264 now this is a second rate 
I had a first rate up there before the input. This rate is the rate of screen capture, and I am capturing 25 frames a second. Usually I do about 5 frames a second. That's, that's usually what I do on uh, when I'm making these YouTube videos, and I've made 250 of them, and 5 frames a second is just fine. And here's the output file, and the output file is going to be MP4. Uh, since I am actually going to be doing this, I better go back up here and grab 7 again. And now when I hit Enter, let me make this small. When I hit Enter down here, it's going to make an output file right here. And I've already got one, so it's going to ask me, hey, you've already got one. Do you want to make another one? Let's see what happens. See where it says yes or no? I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and do it. Overwrite that output file and here it is working away and when I tap on when I tap on the output file it's going to show this and we'll see this video once more this time it's going to be a little bit jerkier because See, I recorded it at only 5 frames a second, plus I'm playing this video for you at 5 frames a second. So the, the, it may be kind of jaggedy. Control Q quit. Now, I am going to quit on this one. And I'm going to grab everything on screen, except where I am recording right now. And I'm going to delete. In fact, this is my recording that I'm making right now. But let me hit everything, Control A, hold down my uh, thumb on the Control key, and tap the recording I'm making right now, and then delete everything else, all right? I will now open up my webcam, and I'm going to go Alt, Windows key V, and Shazam, it's on, it's on an angle. It fell over or something. And let me do it again. And I'll show you how to do the snap pictures. I'm going to turn the camera. And my hot key was Shift S. And see how it said 1? Now I'm going to move the orange. This is going to be a crude video. 2. three. The guy who did all of this work originally years ago using still cameras was Ray Harryhausen. He made all of these movies with dinosaurs and Sinbad the Sailor and he was very famous. You can go online and see all kinds of uh, Lego movies and you can make your own. This is also a technique that you can use for time-lapse photography where you can watch the sunrise and uh, flowers in the morning unfold. That's enough. Let me close this. When I hit Control Q that shuts everything off and I've made all of these I've made all of these still pictures. You can see them on screen. Let me pull up the terminal now. Control Alt T up arrow. Now remember my start number in this case is going to be 0. I mean 1, sorry. And when I hit enter, I hope this works. There it is. I can I can see that the output file has appeared and it stopped already. When I hit enter, let's see what happens. A little bit more jerky. You can see my shadow. You got to be careful. Control Q quit. I'm going to close this off. Just in passing, I want to just make a brief message right up here. This is where I am recording. 
in the past I used different uh, programs to make make these uh, video tutorials today I'm using simple screen recorder uh, last time I used voco screen there are several of them I used to use screen castor from France uh, C A S T O R is uh, the French word for beaver I also used to use the terminal itself and just use a terminal command I'm trying out this time simple screen recorder. Voco screen allows you to record both the microphone which you can hear and simultaneously playing sounds on your computer. Simple screen recorder does not. Both of them allow you to pause and continue. Screen castor does not. And I think all of them are very very good programs. My name is Pop, and uh, I have a whole bunch of video tutorials on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I thank you very, very much. I completely forgot to mention something, and I'm going to tack on a, an addendum here, a postscript. When you have got your terminal command like this, you can save the command, and you might want to go to the beginning of the command itself and then hold down the left mouse key and then move your finger down and capture everything like that and then when you save in a terminal a copy you go c shift control C but you can just do it with the menu also so I have put that into the clipboard now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up gedit with a right mouse click go to applications and there's gedit and then uh, you tap on this and it will pop up and then you hit control V paste now you need to give it a name so I'm gonna go file save as I wanna put it on the desktop here and there it's going to be on the desktop and I'm going to call it clay for claymation and then I hit save and it's going to appear on the desktop one more thing you gotta do right click on the mouse go to properties go to permissions allow executing file as program boom you're done then there on after you don't need the terminal what you can do is just click on this and it says hey do you want to run it in which case if I tap here it's going to run it like it was in the terminal or display it and then when you display it you can edit the stuff you could change the start number or frames a second or something like that once again goodbye and I thank you very much